What's going on YouTube? It's your guy Darian, and of course I'm known here on the YouTube platform as the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. On my channel I talk about looking good and smelling amazing, so I talk about fragrances, I talk a little bit about fashion, talk about a little bit of things to increase your confidence as a guy, you know, that kind of stuff. So if that sounds like it may be of interest to you, then I invite you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click on that bell icon as well. That way you get notified every time I release a new video. So as always is the case here lately, guys, I'm enjoying a cup of coffee this morning. Ah, for my favorite, a Ralph Lauren mug. I got this for my birthday, so I love this thing. I got my coffee. I got my candle going over here. I got my whole feng shui. I like to have that, that mood right, man, when I talk about fragrances, man. So I get my coffee, I get my candle going. Get the room smelling right, man, and I just talk about something that I love, which is fragrances and a little bit about fashion. So, man, this is the light. So let's talk about some fragrances today. What I want to do, uh, what I'm going to discuss today more so, is I'm going to discuss some of my latest fragrance pickups. I don't have all of them here, but some of the ones that I wanted to, uh, to bring to your attention that I've acquired over the last month, maybe a little over a month or so, I do want to mention these fragrances. So as we call this here in the fragrance community, we call this a fragrance haul, if you will. So if you guys want to see some of my latest fragrance pickups, you know the routine. Just keep it locked right here. Be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Um, thank you guys who have commented on my new intro video, which I did uh, about three weeks ago, two weeks ago. Um, thank you for acknowledging that. Some of you guys said you really love the intro, so thank you for that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into some of my latest fragrance pickups. All right, so this one, the first one I wanna talk about that I've acquired over the last month or so, this was a birthday gift from the missus. My birthday is November 19th, and I picked up this one from Tom Ford, which is Lost Cherry. Lost Cherry. I picked this one up, had my eye on it for a while. Uh, I'm not the, uh, the person that goes out every time a new release comes out and I try to buy it. Um, I look at notes and things of that nature, get as much information as I can, and if I feel like it's something I'm really going to enjoy, maybe I go out and get it. I know what I'm going to like for the most part. Sometimes when I read a note breakdown, I can kind of tell because I know my taste in fragrances. So if it's not something that's like, man, I got to have it right now, I kind of wait. But this one is one I did want to try. I do like it. And uh, it has a nice, you know, that cherry is very prominent in the beginning. But then it dries down to kind of this nice gourmand kind of dry down. Very, very nice fragrance. So uh, again, birthday gift. Went ahead and grabbed this one. From Tom Ford, Lost Cherry. Um, I've already done a review on this one right here, Paco Rabanne, uh, One Million Parfum. If you guys have not seen the review on this, I did release that last week. I will drop it down below. Again, I like the fragrance. I like the way it smells. And as I explained <clears throat> in the uh, review, it just went in a different direction than I would have expected. So while I love the way this one smells, it's more appropriate for like the springtime because of the tuberose and coconut in here. It's a very tropical vibe uh, that you get with this one. So again, I do like it. Just went in a different direction than I would have expected, but it does smell good. This one right here, I picked up recently and I hated this fragrance at first. This is Tom Ford's Noir Anthracite. I hated this fragrance when, I, when it first came out, and I will tell you there's a lot of people that still do hate this fragrance. It is definitely not a mass appealing fragrance by any means, but a funny story about this one, uh, when I picked it up, well, the reason I picked it up is I went to a fragrance store, I was smelling some other fragrances, and I sprayed this on my hand. Again, my initial uh, impression, I was like, ah, nah, I'll pass. But as the day continued to go on, I kept going back to my hand and smelling this fragrance. So what I will tell you about this one is this, guys. 
the opening is a little challenging but this is one of those fragrances that you have to wear and give it a little bit of time because i'm telling you it turns into just some masculine sexy goodness if you have a few moments and give it a few moments this turns into something that you may enjoy so if you were like me and you did not like this at first give it some time you know maybe get a sample of it decant it put it on your skin wait about 20 minutes i think you're going to start to see uh, what the folks that do like this fragrance do like about it again masculine sexy goodness in a bottle right here tom ford's noir anthracite I picked this one up recently as well, uh, Gentleman by Givenchy. This is the EDP uh, concentration. I featured this on a recent video. Again, it's a nice Irish fragrance. We're going to remind you of Dior Homme Intense, Valentino Homme Intense, but this is a lot spicier. Black pepper uh, is one of the primary notes in this. Patchouli is in this as well. Uh, so guys, again, if you like those type fragrances that have the uh, Dior own DNA, but those fragrances may have been a little too feminine for you with the whole lipstick, lipsticky vibe that comes from those fragrances in the iris, then give this one a try. You may like this one because to me, those spicier chords in this really kind of masculinize this fragrance, if that's a word, or make it more masculine, whatever. But try this one right here, Givenchy uh, Gentleman. This is a good one. Another one I picked up right here from Bond Number no. 9 recently is FIDI. Uh, stands for Financial District there in New York. And picked this one up recently. I like it. I'm not in love with it, to be honest with you, but I do like it. It's a very fresh, kind of fruity fragrance in the opening. It has a nice floral uh, mid. And then, of course, you got some, uh, some musk on the dry now. It's a really, really musky uh, dry now. So it's like a floral musk. Uh, that you get uh, from this fragrance for the most part. I do like it. It's not one I'm head over heels for, but nobody really talks about this one, so I will review this uh, coming very soon. This one right here, man, from uh, Banana Republic, Black Walnut Legend. Again, some of these fragrances I'm gonna be reviewing very soon. As a matter of fact, most of these I will be doing some uh, singular reviews on these very, very soon. But this one is said to smell like Creed of Vintage to some extent. Let me spray it again. I don't remember. Five in the beginning. So this is going to be very interesting. I'm going to wear this a few times, but I will come back and give you guys a review on it because, I mean, there's no, I know there's a lot of Aventus clones out there already. Some of you may not be interested in that, but. This is one, of course, that you can get at a good price point. So I will wear this a few times and come back and review that one. Definitely very similar to Aventus in the beginning. More so, I would say, uh, it's closer to uh, Mont Blanc Legend Explorer. But again, the Aventus DNA is definitely there. Uh, I picked up this one. Now this is funny. It's a funny story with this one. This is called Outrageous from Frederick Mall. Now, if you guys can see closely, this fragrance, I've only had it for about a month, maybe a little over a month. It's already down to here. And that is because the missus is in love with this fragrance. This is one of the best smelling fragrances that I've ever smelled. Best citrus type fragrance I've ever smelled. The problem with this fragrance is literally this thing only lasts about two hours. Two hours of performance on my skin and that's why although i've acquired this in the the later months of the year where you normally wear heavier darker scents i haven't really worn it a lot but the missus loves this stuff she takes a shower she sprays it going out she sprays this stuff and of course because the performance is horrid uh she can just spray a lot of it on but it still only gets her about three hours of performance maybe four very hard to pick this one up man the performance sucks but it does smell great. Definitely not worth the high price tag. If you can find this at a, a, a cheap price, maybe around that hundred dollar mark, maybe give it a try. But again, performance sucks. If, if this had great, better performance, this would be very high up on my summer list 
but um, just doesn't perform. But she loves it. She's, she's knocking this bottle out. If I want to review it, I may have to hide it because by the time summer gets here, it may be all gone. So um, the next one here, guys, this one is from Amaru. This is Sunset Oud. Now, I am going to have a review on this one coming this week. I've had this one for a minute. This is their latest release, and I will have a review on this one coming this week. But uh, So I won't spoil it, but this is a good one. So it has a nice citrus kind of opening, and you combine that with, ooh, think about it. It's very interesting, but there is a review coming on this one. There will be a review coming on this week uh, on this one as well. This is Killian's by Killian's Angel Share. This is one of the newest releases. They released this, I think Roses on Ice, which I haven't gotten my nose on that one yet. A review is coming on this, but let me tell you, fantastic, 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 fantastic fragrance from by Killian. I wouldn't expect anything less from them. And the last fragrance that I'm gonna mention today on this uh, latest fragrance haul is this one from Bond number nine, this is Lafayette Street. And I will tell you right now, this fragrance immediately moved into my top three Bond number nine fragrances in my collection. It's right up there for me with uh, Bleecker Street and New York Oud. Very easy to wear, kind of fruity, open a nice creamy vanilla type dry down. This is an absolutely gorgeous scent. There aren't many reviews of this on YouTube, so I'm definitely going to review this fragrance for you guys because this is one that you need to hear about. I love this scent, so you will be seeing a review coming from me very soon on Bond Number no. 9's Lafayette Street. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. Uh, thank you so much for indulging me and uh, as I talk about some of my latest fragrance pickups. I always appreciate your time and attention to these videos because, of course, as I always say, I know you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me. So I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find me entertaining, because I'm your guy, Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.